It's been a little over a week since the Attack Evolver LMG has come out, and since then, the fluctuation camo for it has been bugged. But now I'm hearing that it's been fixed, so let's hop in and see if that's true. So the challenge for this weapon that's been bugged, as well as many other weapons that share the same challenge, has been getting 10 kills without reloading 10 times. And fortunately for us, this weapon does have a lot of ammo with it, with our base mag being 100 rounds, so this should not be a problem for us to get and see if it's working. But to speed the process a bit, let's do a quick little Outlast contract. But those of you eagle-eyed viewers might have noticed that uh, I'm not running face cam and I might sound a little different today and that's because I came down with a uh, pretty bad flu. I didn't upload yesterday because it was hitting me pretty bad but uh, I'm feeling a lot better today. Just very very congested as you guys can probably tell so I apologize in advance for my voice but I'm not about to let some cold stop me from getting some camos. That's for damn sure and I'm sure you'll be happy to know that I've been treating my illness the very midwest way by drinking some verners and i'm basically cured at this point point. and also i'm only using the 100 round mag here it does have a 200 round option for this lmg but last time you guys told me that when you switch to the 200 round mag it switches the ammo type to a 556 five, round instead of a 762 and i honestly didn't even notice it when i used it last time so we're, we'll be trying out the 762 rounds on this and if this camo does end up working we can go ahead and get this all the way up to borealis today because that's the last camo i'm missing to get up to golden enigma and then we can just hop into one more game get zircon scale on it and then get serpent tonight Oh, there it is. It has been fixed. Let's go. So we just need to rack up kills until we're at about 100 and then exfil with this. And I'm not going to lie. It can get pretty frustrating when like new weapons like this come out and the camo challenges for it are bugged for what seems like little to no reason. But I'm not going to get too mad at the developers for it. They got to spend their days working for uh, Infinity Ward anyways. And I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I know anything about programming or making games or something. It could be something smaller some dumb mistake that takes hours of combing through code or whatever to figure out what's making it not work. But the reason I bring this up is because I saw earlier today that a lot of developers were actually laid off from Activision Blizzard under Microsoft's umbrella of Activision Blizzard now. I, I, I don't know how the corporate structure works, but apparently up to 30% of the people working on Call of Duty have been let go, which is an absolutely crazy number of people. And from everything that I've seen on it, it really doesn't look like it's for any good reason besides just to uh, make like quarter one margins look better, like make them look more profitable for this first quarter, which is actually just insane because there's probably a lot of people. I mean, regardless of what you think about the game and, you know, the state of it, there's got to be a lot of people working for Call of Duty that just want to see the game succeed. And they, they put their blood, sweat, and tears into trying to make the game as good as they can. Just for a good portion of them to be let go over nothing. I don't know about you guys, but it seems kind of shitty. Especially since when Activision Blizzard was acquired by Microsoft. And everyone's thinking like, oh, they're going to be the saviors of Call of Duty. Or at least like that's the idea. Like it could be a, a, whole, a breath of fresh air. You know, get some, some new passion behind it. You know, kind of scrub off the, the dirt that was like Bobby Kotick. And actually maybe start trending in the right direction. I don't think it's the right thing to cut off 30% of your workforce. I, I don't think that helps out the game at all. So I don't know what they're cooking over there, but it don't seem to be great. Cause it's not just from like Activision, like it was from all the different studios underneath COD. Like people at Treyarch were let go, people at Infinity Ward were let go, people at like High Noon Studios I'm pretty sure were let go, people at Raven. Like every single branch of Call of Duty has lost people today. And I really just hope they know what the fuck they're doing. That's kind of alarming. But to play devil's advocate, it's not just Activision that's fired a lot of employees. I'm pretty sure it's a widespread thing against like the, the gaming industry right now where a lot of companies have let a good amount of people go. And maybe it's just like the, the COVID bubble popping for the, the gaming industry and companies are downsizing. But I don't know. They, th these games make way too much money to just be like, you know what? Let's let's throw a bunch of people's jobs out just because we want to make a little bit more cash. We want we want to keep that revenue. But what the fuck do I know? I just shoot guns at zombies till I get cool different colors on them. I just say one out of four operators are requesting to cancel contract. It's just me here. Either way, I think I'm at 100 kills. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the contract and then we'll see if we got our gold. There we go. What do we get for that? Not a whole lot. All right, let's see if this gave us gold. Like 99% sure I got 100 kills. Oh, you bet your sweet bippy we did. A little extra too. Oh, and there's gold. Perfect. Also, this is the build I'm using in case you want to copy it. All right, now that gold's out of the way, let's pack a punch this. 
and try to get Zerk on scale. We just need a quick little 300 kills with Pack-A-Punch on. Then hopefully by the time we get all of our camos for this, we'll have enough money to get Pack-A-Punch 3. And then we can go test against the Mega Abomination again now that we're using the 762 rounds. Let's see if it's any stronger. Actually, we're gonna start getting our money up by doing some bounties. All right, Mangler, give me money. He's kind of tanking these shots, I'm not gonna lie to you. He is eating these bullets. But he's not hungry enough. Whatever the hell that means. Either way, got my cash out of it. Let's keep doing those. Where's this mimic hiding at? There it is. What's going on, dude? Gonna need you to sit down for me. Actually, you brought a lot of zombies with you. Hold on. This is easy camo progress. I just need you to stay back. He does not want to listen. Hey! Personal space, pal. I have to take you out, I guess. No way somebody's asking for the magic word. Somebody's asking for help, and he said, what's the magic word? Come on, dude. Imagine if the mimic had a low tapered fade. That shit is like brain rot. I have not been able to stop saying it the last few days. But like, could you imagine? All right, last bounty. All right, Mango, let's make this nice and easy. Just die for me real quick. I'll take the money and I'll be out of your hair. There you go. Ooh, and an epic aether tool. I'll take that for sure. And I'm only a thousand points short of pack three and I still need a few zombie kills. So let's just go do a zombie stronghold and maybe I can find some decent loot and get some money that way. Wait, this thing's got 1500 bullets in reserve. That's crazy. All I had to do was switch ammo types and I get that much more. That's kind of nutty. It's basically unlimited ammo. This loot's looking like ass though. Got nothing out of this. Where's pack three at? All the way over here. Let's go grab it. All right, give me pack three. There we go. Mimic, stay the fuck away from me. You big tentacle bitch. Sit down. I'm gonna go fight this mega bomb. I want to see if the 762 rounds are any better. See if we can kill this guy faster. There we go. Shoot that laser. Mouth gone. Go ahead and open up again. Let's see what that mouth do. I already got like a quarter of his health gone or a third. So far, so good. Fucking him up pretty good. Yeah, shoot that laser. Let's get another one of those heads gone. There we go. Easy peasy. We can tear right through all these zombies too. Oh shit, he's pissed off. Ah! Get the fuck back. And here comes another laser. This should be it. Absolutely. Oh. I'm gonna say absolutely obliterating him. But uh, he had the same idea. Very low health though. This is this has been a quick fight. Come on. There you go. That was easy. The 762 rounds are definitely better on it. And it's honestly not doing too bad against these tier three zombies either. We just mowed through that whole pack. Hold up on their block and bleed it. Oh, another one just spawned too. Haven't you learned your lesson? Where are you going? He's leaving tier three. He doesn't want none. Some, somebody's driving the invisible boat mobile down there. What the fuck? I'll fight you again if that's what you want. We can fuck you up twice. It don't matter to me. That's already a head gone. Just remember you wanted the smoke abomination. You're the one that spawned in next to me. And that's two heads. Easy. Oh shit. Just shoot another laser. And that should do it. Easy. That's two of them. Two of them with boo boo ass loot too. If another one's gonna spawn in, it better bring me a legendary aether tool. This thing's handling itself in tier three. Let's go do a contract. Let's get some, some kills done for this. Actually, we might not even have to. So all these zombies just keep spawning right next to me. But if we're getting all these kills, we might as well get a reward for it. This should be easy enough to get done. Knock on wood. This gun is not bad at all. I am tearing through these guys. There we go. Contract is done. What do we get? A whole lot of nothing. Bunch of lame shit. How are we still not at 300 kills with this? Is Zircon scale bugged? Or did I just not see it pop up? That is the next challenge, right? I'm at the point where I'm starting to doubt the challenges. Let's just go to an exfil. We'll get this done the efficient way. I've actually never seen this exfil location before. This is kind of cool. Nice little waterfront. Get a nice view. But where's my camo at? Give it here now. There it is. See, you just gotta start bitching about it. Now we just need our 10 specials, our elites. And this should spawn enough manglers and disciples for us to get it in no time. I'm not gonna do the bullshit I did last time where I'm running around tier three looking for stuff and just dying. Even though it is more challenging, Definitely way less efficient. I'm so glad they rebuffed X-Fills. 
I still wish they, they spawned in pre-nerf amounts of zombies because having those huge hordes was so much fun. But I'm glad it's it's back to being a viable strategy for grinding out camos, especially for the special and elites. Because we're like two exfils deep right now. This is our second one. And I think we're already like halfway done with our special and elites. Maybe a little over. It's just a no-brainer for Serpent tonight. All right, exfil number three. Please spawn in some manglers because I have to pee so bad. Spawn in nothing but them. Oh, there it is. Perfect. So it literally only took three exfils to get Serpent tonight done. We didn't even need the whole thing. All right, let's get the hell out of here before my balls explode from being over the limit of pee capacity. Oh, and we're free. Well, this is how our attack evolve rare, however the hell you say it looks like with Borealis on it. Glad that we could finally get it done. Glad that the camo could be patched. And honestly, not a bad weapon. Definitely would suggest not throwing on the 200 round mag. Even though you get a lot more ammo, it does way more damage with just 100. But I'm gonna go ahead and end it there. Again, I apologize for my voice. I'm sorry I sound fucking nasty, but I appreciate you guys watching and all the love and support. And I will see you guys next time. Later.